Welcome everyone to the Final Cut. So glad you could join us today. Hey, we've got an independent film on deck. It hits VOD tomorrow, but we get an early look at Cold Blows the Wind from director Eric Williford, giving us the story of Tasha and Dean who were out on the town celebrating Tasha's birthday, had one too many, and well, they ended up hitting a jogger with their car, but instead of doing the proper thing, they decide to bury the evidence out on the land uh, by the house where they were going to stay for the weekend anyway. Well, after they bury their evidence, a mysterious stranger looking for help named Briar shows up on their doorstep, and she manages to throw their night into even more of a chaotic mess as she prods and causes more tension between the married couple than what was already there, as well as uh, making some dark secrets revealed, showing uh, that no secret is safe, and everything eventually comes to light at the end in cold blows the wind. Uh, and that's just scratching the surface of this story. It really should say Tales from the Crypt presents Cold Blows the Wind because this really felt like one of those films, like The Bardello of Blood or A Demon Knight. And yeah, I appreciated that quite a bit. There's a mixture of humor and tension and drama. Uh, there's some witty dialogue, some snappy one-liners. It's got all these elements, uh, including the horror elements, some blood, some <laughs> scares in here. So yeah, there's really a mixture of things, plus some of the crazy situations that this couple ends up in uh, really was a bit unexpected uh, for them uh, to actually go there. But uh, Tasha is uh, played by uh, Victoria uh, Vertuga, and uh, uh, Dean is played by uh, Danielle uh, LaVey, and I thought they both did very well. They felt like a couple. They had some great banter between them. You feel like this is a couple who have tension uh, and troubles, uh, but they still are staying with each other to trying to make it work, uh, though it's more and more of a challenge for him. So you, you've got that feeling and then some wonderful uh, banter and, uh, you know, conversations and arguing back and forth between them. And then when Briar shows up, Briar is played by Jamie Bernadetta. And wow, uh, I've always admired Jamie's work. She's a, she's a very talented actress. And in here, she is delightfully devilish in playing uh, the <laughs> dark and uh, rather evil uh, Briar. Uh, yeah, I loved the looks that she gave on her face. You could tell uh, Jamie's just having a whole lot of fun in this role, quite a bit. Uh, <laughs> taking this character to some places I did not expect either. Uh, for JB Ed, yeah, that talent shining through. So you've got all of this talent on screen and really selling this story and keeping you involved and trying to guess how it's going to end. We also have in here playing Uncle uh, Stevie, a uh, Tory B. Lawrence, who was great to see. He didn't give many scenes, but the a little bit we do get to see him in. I enjoyed this uh, performance and this character as well. Uh, yeah, there's blood and effects. The lighting are solid. Production value is high. And in the end, I think if you're looking for something just a little bit different as far as your story of the mysterious stranger showing up at the cabin type of story, uh, I think you're going to want to check out Cold Blows the Wind. I had a lot of fun with it. I think you can too. So there you have it, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out our Patreon, like, bells and whistles, subscribe, and all that here. We became partners, and it was because of you we have hit a partner milestone. Thank you so much for watching these things, and look for more stuff to happen on the channel this month. I thank you for your support, and until next time, remember, keep that ticket stub.